Josef Rostofinsky's ethnobotanical survey from 1883 revealed that traditional dyeing methods had been largely forgotten in Poland. His study consisted of 126 questionnaires containing information on dye plants, which were identified by the respondents using folk names or sometimes even Latin names. The most common plants used for dyeing were onion, allium cepa, Brazil wood, Cezalpinia brasiliensis or Pau Brasilia echinata, winter corn, mainly rice acali cereal, black alder, Alnus glutinosa, safflower, Carthamus tinctorius, apple, Malus domestica, birch, Betula pendula, oak, Quercus rober, and violet flowering spring flowers, mainly Hepatica nobilis and Pulsatilla spp. These plants have all been documented in the literature about plant dyeing, but Rostofinsky's work provided additional details on the state of dyeing practices in Eastern Europe at the time. This article was authored by Peter Kohler, Alexandra BYSTRY, and Lucas Luxich. We are article.tv, links in the description below.